Hello everyone, welcome to episode 28 of the Early Parenting Podcast. Today I'm talking about an area of baby development that I am super passionate talking about and that is around newborn sleep, feeding and development and more specifically some of the common myths new mums are told and made to believe about what to expect with their new baby. Now, I should mention that I am running a free online workshop this coming Friday, the 24th of January, talking about my top tips, strategies, and advice on navigating life with your new baby. So if that sounds like something that you would love to get on board for, make sure that you head over to www.thehappybabycode.com slash workshop dash registration. There is also a link to it on my website, which is www.jenniferbutler.com.au and you'll see a little banner at the top of my website that you'll be able to click on to register for this free workshop. So make sure to join me this Friday, 24th of Jan at 1pm. Okay, on to the episode. Welcome to the Early Parenting Podcast where we help you navigate the somewhat tricky world of parenthood so you can love the crap out of being a mama. I'm your host, Jen Butler, and I'm an early parenting consultant and a mama of two busy, busy boys. Join me as I explore all things early parenting and deliver them to you in toddler-friendly, bite-sized lessons. Because let's be honest, your toddler is probably smothering pseudo cream on the wall as we speak. I'll be dropping my hottest tips on baby and toddler sleep, feeding, boobs, behavior, and so much more. Are you ready to feel confident in motherhood? Let's dive in. This episode is brought to you by my famous free clean sleeping guide. This guide has helped countless families in getting the foundations of baby and toddler sleep in place so you can help your babe get the sleep they need to thrive. You can download this guide for free from my website www.jenniferbutler.com.au forward slash clean dash sleeping dash guide. All right, so the first myth that I hear spoken all the time is cuddling your baby will only make a rod for your back. Have you been told that or have you heard that? Well, I was told this by some health professionals along with the general public when both my boys were born. Now with Max, I believed it and I was super cray cray about having to put him to sleep in the bassinet and to not cuddle him too much because I thought that I was just going to end up with this child that was so dependent on me. Well, with Ted, I had the power of hindsight behind me and I knew what crap this statement is. Your baby literally needs you to cuddle and hold them in the first three to four months of life and beyond, but particularly so in these early months. Your baby has been held by you for the last nine months, where they were rocked all day, they had a constant food source, and they were contained and swaddled in a beautiful small environment that is your womb. When they're born, they still need all of the above, and it can take the whole fourth trimester, which is usually been from birth until about four months of age, to transition from womb life to room life. So when you can, cuddle the crap out of your baby and don't you dare for a second feel guilty about it. If you're time poor, chuck them in a baby carrier or a baby wrap or if there's someone else around to hold them, by all means, let them hold them as well. Everyone will be happier for it. Okay, the second myth that I often hear is that you must teach a newborn to self-settle from the minute they're born. I'm guessing you'll have a pretty good idea what I'm going to say about this coming off my last point. Surprise, surprise, hell no, now is not a good time to teach your baby to self-settle. Most babies can't self-settle as a newborn. Now, when I say self-settle, what I mean is a baby putting themselves to sleep independent of anyone or anything. Now, the any things I am referring to are things like dummies or, say, a rocking or vibrating baby swing or something similar. I call the newborn phase the settle to sleep phase, meaning you or one of the previously mentioned any things 
will have to help your baby to go to sleep. This is normal. There will come a time when you can start doing less to help them to get to sleep. So you're not having to do as much of the hands-on stuff. But now ain't the time, mama. Okay, so the third myth that I often hear is that babies need to get into a routine from the very start. Now, newborn sleep is very unpredictable and trying to follow strict sleep times can often lead to stress and frustration when you find that your baby isn't sleeping as long as that book says or is screaming their head off because they're so tired because they can't go to sleep yet because the book says they are supposed to stay up longer. Yes, I have been this mom saying these things before I knew what I knew now. Establishing some rhythms and patterning in the day can be wonderful, but this shouldn't be based around strict sleep times. I'm talking more about this in my workshop on Friday, so make sure that you head over and register for this free workshop. The last myth that I'm going to talk about is your baby shouldn't need to be fed before at least three hours. This is probably one of the biggest reasons why I see mums not reaching their breastfeeding goals. Mums freak out that their supply isn't cutting it when their baby wants to be fed more than three or four hourly. Newborn babies have a stomach the size of a cherry at birth. A cherry, that's tiny. They need to fill it often as that cherry-sized tummy is going to empty real quick. By around four weeks, that stomach size has grown to the size of a large egg, so you may start to see longer spaces between feeds. However, even so, breast milk is easily digested and understanding that feeding to demand isn't feeding to the clock is key. If you go in with a realistic mindset to how often your baby will feed, it's going to help you out so much during your breastfeeding journey and in the whole newborn, new baby period. I hope this has been helpful, mamas. I could go on and on about this topic. I'm so passionate about setting realistic expectations for mums. Having unrealistic expectations seriously saps the joy out of motherhood, no matter what age or stage you're in. If you want to learn more about my teachings around all things newborn to around five months of age, then don't forget to register for my free workshop that's happening this Friday, the 24th of Jan, 2020. I hope to see you all at the workshop. If not, I'll be catching you here again next week. So talk to you then. Thanks for listening to the episode, Mama. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to share the episode with a friend, with your mother's group, or tag me at Jen Butler Early Parenting on Instagram. The more that know about this podcast, the more people I can help. If you're looking for support that is personalized for your babe and tailored to your family's needs, then make sure to head on over to my website, www.jenniferbutler.com com.au and check out how we can work together so you can move through motherhood with confidence catch you in the next episode mama